Our current reality here. What's going on, everybody? Jokic Basarelli. Listen, I am coming to you again to give you an update. It's a channel update to let you guys know that, number one, I'm getting the computer fixed. So the green screen videos are coming back. Number two, we're going to be live streaming on Monday at 4.30 p.m. That's right, 4.30 p.m. We're going to be live streaming, and I, I know that there's a video on YouTube where it's me talking against another demon. Well, I'm going to give you guys the background of that video. On, I believe, Thursday or Wednesday, a man approached me, and he asked to have a dialogue with me. So... Based on his appearance, I know that John Chapter tells us not to judge based on appearances. Now, this man had devil horns. He had uh, uh, all these, you know, different futures about himself that literally, you know, was just screaming out Satanists. But I did not mind that. I just, you know, went to him and said, how may I help you? And when this man approached me, he had devil horns, he had skull and bones all over himself, but I still chose to have a dialogue with him. So what happened next is we begin to talk about the Bible. And then it became apparently clear that this man had intentions to, uh, um, to uh, disrespect the word of God and to try to uh, uh, talk to me in such a degrading manner. So after a while in the conversation, he starts to disrespect me. Now, I did have video of this confrontation, but unfortunately, the video did not come out as clear as I thought it would be because the demonic forces that was inside this man, he was possessed. And the demonic forces that were inside this man was very, very strong, so strong that the video, the live stream started to mess up. So... um he starts to get really angry. He starts yelling at me. And then before you know it, he wants to fight. So I take out the taser. I had a taser on me. And I take out the taser. And I'm ready to tase this guy. Because, you know, he's apparently... Uh, um, one second. I just want to take this off. He's apparently uh, getting ready to <coughs> attack me. So uh, somebody calls the police. The police come. Um, of course, I'm forgiving the man every five seconds. If you just go to the 29-minute marker of the video, you'll see that I am constantly forgiving him. Uh, so, with that being said, he made it clear. He said, if you come back here, if you come back, I'm going to come back, and I'm going to keep coming back. And I'll be there every day that you're there to distract you, to disprove you, to pitch you out of here. And then he tells me to get off his block in the whole nine yards. So you know what God told me? I went home, and God told me, don't go back there until you have my people with you. And I said, yes, Lord. And I'm going back there Monday, 4.30 p.m. And we're going to cast them spirits out. And I'm letting Satan know, if you're watching right now, Satan, you have no room in that place. We're going to set them captives free right now. In the name of Jesus, we're coming back. And we're going to set them captives free. And we're going to cast out every single demon. In the name of Jesus, we're going to cast them demons out in the name of Jesus. That's it. It's over. That's my spot. I'm there to give the word of God, and I ain't letting nobody change or, just, or, 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 or move me. I ain't being moved by no police. I ain't being moved by no people. I ain't being moved by no demon. Ain't no demon in heaven or in hell that can move me. So guess what? I'm going to come there, and I'm going to preach the word of God every single day, every single week, every single hour, until sin is gone completely. Every soul saved. This is what street preachers are called to do. We don't move because Satan threatens us. Greater than him, he in, him, in us than he is in the world. Let it be known right now. We don't play games. He got the wrong one and he's going to find out. If Satan shows up on Monday at 4.30 p.m., it's over. The power of God is here. The power of God is here. <laughs> okay. So... We're going to go back to the spot at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time on Monday. We're going to be live streaming on YouTube. If we're not live streaming exactly at 4.30 p.m., 
give it some time. Stand by. Turn the notification on. If you're watching this video, hit the notification bell. It's Sunday. Um, what time is it? Sunday, like 8 o'clock in the morning right now. I'm making this video. So it's Sunday, 8 o'clock in the morning. Tomorrow, we're going out there. We're going to be there. We're going to cast that demon out in the name of Jesus and the blood of Jesus. Be upon us. Guys, keep your prayers up. We're going to war. We're going to war. And if you don't already know, we're already at war. See, I'm going there and I'm going to set them captives free. I'm bringing people. I'm bringing people to Jesus. And it's going to keep happening. Ain't nobody moving me. I'm willing to go to jail for Jesus. I'm willing to get a ticket for Jesus. So if you guys want to support me, listen, I, I ask people all the time. You want to give me donations? Send it to paypal.com slash. No, no, no. Scratch. <laughs> paypal.com. It's paypal.me slash our current reality. If you guys want to pay for the tickets that I get from the police, that's fine. If you want to support me that way, that's fine. It, it does not matter. PayPal.me slash our current reality. If you want to be there to support me, that's fine. Anyways, we're going out there. We're going to stand our ground. And we're going to be there on Monday. Uh, uh, Monday, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And um, that's May 20th, 2019. I'm going to give a special shout out to David Lynn. I've been talking to you, brother. More power to you in the name of Jesus. We together. Whatever we got planned, we're going to do it. And uh, uh, praise be unto the name of the Lord. The other brother, David, in uh, Clifton, New Jersey. You know, that's my brother in Christ. Amen. <laughs> I love it. Love it. Uh, shout out to June, who's been backing me. That's my sister right there. Don't you guys mess with you mess with her. You're going to have problems with me. And you're going to have problems with God. Well, you're going to have problems more with God. <laughs> no, you're going to have problems with me too. That's my sister. I got her. You know what I'm saying? I love that woman to death. I love you. You've been so good to me. Uh, shout out to Sandy Armstrong for standing up with me. Um, and shout out to uh, uh, Josh Flat Earth Brothers on YouTube. Man, thank you so much. You're the best. Um, I'm just here to make this video to let everybody know um, to watch the live stream on Monday, May 20th at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Hit the notification bell in this video. Hit the notification bell if you haven't already done so. And um, you don't want to miss this. Satan might show up or he might not show up. But one thing that God told me is three things. He won't touch you. Don't be afraid of them. I'm with you. And there's one more extra thing. God told me this. The war has already been won. Our current reality. Don't play games with the men of, with the men of God. Don't play games with the men of God. Don't play games with the men of God. We don't hear, We don't come to play games. This is a spiritual war. Some of you out here with lukewarm Christians. Some of you out here, peaches and creams and apples and bananas. This is a real war. Don't play around. If you play around, you're going to get hurt. You're going to get hurt. If you believe in God, believe in God for real. This is not a game. I also want to give an update. I'm getting the computer fixed, so those those green team those green screen you, uh, videos, they're coming back. I can't be held down for long. Our current reality.